My name is Paul E. Peptide, and welcome to Peptides, a series of debates about our leading candidates for reversed phase peptide separations. As you are all aware, ionic analytes like peptides can be problematic to separate with optimal efficiency. Through this series of debates, we will see where these three terrific candidates stand and how they can get the job done. With us today, we have our three presumptive nominees, BEH, CSH, and HSS. Let's meet our candidates. Hello, I'm Ethylene Bridged Hybrid, or BEH. I'm the best candidate for your separations, and as we move through these debates, you'll see why. I'm a hybrid particle, which means I am the best of both worlds. I am strong and stable like silica, but unlike silica, I do not dissolve under high pH. I am also the most flexible particle to get your job done because I can operate at a wide variety of pH conditions, which is advantageous, especially during method development. Hey, hey, I'm charged surface hybrid, or CSH. I am the preeminent candidate for this job. Just like BEH, I'm also made from hybrid particles, so I won't dissolve at pH greater than 7. That occurs with silica particles. But my strongest peptide separation policy statement is the fact that I have a charged personality. Yeah! I possess a reproducible low level of positive charges on my hybrid surface that lowers undesired peptide particle interactions. Furthermore, I can prove that this attribute provides unique selectivity and peak shape characteristics even when faced with either LC or LCMS applications. No other candidate comes close. And here's the best part. I work as well in formic acid as I do in trifluoroacetic acid, so you can use me for your optical as well as LCMS analysis without having to change to an alternative candidate. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, you two whippersnappers. I may be an independent candidate with 100% silica, but I've been around before your times. And even though I am not quality tested with peptides, unlike you two, I can step in with my silica-based selectivity when you're unable to provide the desired selectivity for certain peptides. Because I am strong and have a tight grip on things, I am more effective at capturing disenfranchised peptides. For example, those peptides that are not well retained, they may be small polar peptides, but they're just as important, doggone it. <laughs> Well, clearly you all have different strengths when it comes to today's world of challenging peptide separations. That's why the Scientific Electorate has asked the three of you to represent yourselves during these peptide debates. So for now, don't go and get voided until we give you a chance to demonstrate what you can really do for LC and or LCMS applications. And join us for Chapter 2 of your Peptide Debates, where each candidate will detail their platforms and earn your votes. <laughs> <laughs>